Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to extract the banner part of a YouTube channel design so that you only have the banner uh, in Photoshop. So let me just quickly show you guys what I mean. Let me just drag in uh, a YouTube channel design here. So this is from my channel here. And as you can see, you got the top banner part and uh, a lot of you might know that you can actually link these buttons here on the top. So for example, if you want to make it link to your Facebook page or Twitter, your website, it doesn't really matter. Um, but to be able to add these links, you need to have the banner and only the banner. Uh, so you want to go from the whole layout here to just the banner part. So um, there's uh, multiple ways you can do this. Of course, you can use the crop tool to crop the image exactly to the size of the banner, but it's really difficult to estimate uh, exactly where to crop it. So it's much easier if you simply change the canvas size of uh, the, your Photoshop canvas. Now you can do this um, by going to image and then canvas size or you can just hit uh, command option C on your keyboard which on Windows is control alt C on your keyboard and that will pop up the canvas size options here. Now we're going to make sure we're on pixels here first of all and the width you want to set it to 970 uh, pixels and the height to 165 pixels. And you want to make sure you crop it upwards so the top center arrow here you want to make sure you click on that otherwise it's just going to center it or at least crop to the center of the image so go ahead and click ok proceed and uh, now it's 165 pixels in height but we actually wanted 150 pixels in height but the reason we have to do it in two steps is because now we have to crop it downwards instead of upwards uh, so we're going to do it exactly the same go back to image and then canvas size and this time we're going to make sure the height is 150 pixels but we're going to crop it uh, downwards so the bottom center error or center bottom error right here hit ok and proceed and there you have it that's pretty much the area that youtube considers as uh, the banner uh, on your youtube channel layout so this is the area where you can add the links uh, so once you have that image simply go ahead and save it to wherever you want on your desktop so once you finish extracting your banner off your YouTube layout, you can go ahead and start adding some links to it. Um, you can do this on a bunch of different websites or you can even do it yourself. It's some pretty basic HTML coding. If you're already uh, used to uh, HTML, you can go ahead and do that or you can simply do it on the website. Now, personally, my favorite website is this one right here. I'll be leaving a link to this website, of course, in the description. Uh, but you can go ahead and choose a file you want to upload. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose my uh, banner that we just extracted in Photoshop right here. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up and upload it. And go ahead and click on accept. Now, once you've done that, you'll see that you'll have your image that will pop up here in the uh, canvas of the website. And from here on, you can just go ahead and uh, click away, like where, whatever area you want to link. So for example, I want to link this Facebook button here. Go ahead and click once and click it second time. Create a little rectangle, so a rectangular selection here. And you'll see that it will say uh, number zero in this one because it's the first one I made. If I make another one, as you can see for this one, it will say number one. So all these uh, numbers, they correspond to here on the top. You can see the different links. So for example, rectangle zero here, which is the Facebook one, I can go ahead and add uh, my Facebook page here in the href, which is the per link reference, I think. Um, but here you can go ahead and, you know, add your link facebook.com slash M4C book, for example. Um, so that's pretty much it. Usually I set the target to new window. That simply makes sure it opens it up in a new tab or in a new window. But usually it's in a new tab as long as you have a quite recent browser. So then you can go ahead and you know, add all your different things. You can even choose different uh, shapes such as circles and even polygons. So that's pretty cool. And then once you're uh, once you're done with it, you can go ahead and click on the code here and we'll give you the exact code for that image uh, with all the links mapped uh, to your image, to your banner image. And uh, that code you can actually put in your uh, YouTube channel settings uh, on YouTube itself so you go to your channel and on your settings you'll be able to add all this code in uh, if you are of course a partner so um, that's pretty much how to extract uh, the banner of a YouTube layout and uh, how to add some links to it 
Uh, I'll thank you a lot for watching. If you have got any other questions, go ahead and comment down below. Be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and circle me on Google+. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.